Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another three looks one palette video. Today I'm going to be playing with the Nomad Cosmetics Fête de Provence palette, which is their France inspired palette. I have created three gorgeous looks for you guys for this video. So if you are interested in seeing how I created the look on my eyes today and two other fun looks, then just keep watching. For this look, I think I want to do something more on the berry side. I really want to play with like this row. I feel like that row would be really pretty. And then maybe even popping this pink shimmer. I've really liked the pink shimmer so far. So the first shade I'm going to go into is this coral. It is Calisson, question mark. I am just popping that in my crease using my Morphe and Jeffree Star JS6 brush. I am just diffusing that all over the crease. And I really like the salmony tone of this one it's a very pretty salmony pink i did a look with this palette the other day and i'll include a picture of what that looked like but i kind of want to do something that vibe it was a really fun look and i really liked it using that same brush i'm going to hop into rose which is this really light bubblegum pink and i am just going to very gently diffuse that on the edges of the salmon color Next, I'm going to take my Morphe M456 and we're going to go into Macaroon on the bottom, which is this really pretty deep red. And this one, I'm going to start in the outer part of my eye and I'm going to work that up into the crease, making sure to leave some of that salmon still showing. Such a pretty blend. I love these colors together. I think I want to do a little bit of a cut crease moment, so I'm going to go into my P. Louise base. This is in the shade Rumor 1. And I'm just going to do, I think, like a half cut crease on both my eyelids. It doesn't have to be perfect, but now I'm going to go into Navette, which is this pretty gold shimmer. And I'm going to pop that all over the lid where I put my P. Louise base to do my cut crease. I also want to hop into Flute a Corset, which is this really pretty rose gold shimmer. This one pulls a little bit purple. I've been using this as an inner corner highlight, and I'm popping this kind of in the middle of my lid, blending that into the gold. I feel like this will just give a fun rose gold pop to the look. Next, I want to go into Marche de Provence, which is this deeper purple, and I want to use that to deepen up my outer corner a little bit. So I'm taking that on a Sigma E33. This is a detail blending brush, and I'm just gently popping that in the very outer corner of my eyelid. And slowly blending that in towards the shimmers. Next, I'm going to work on the lower lash line. I'm really liking how the top part of this look is looking so far. So I'm going to go in with a Morphe M326, and I think I'm going to go back into the salmon shade at the top, and I'm going to start blending that on the lower lash line in the inner corner, inner portion, not inner corner. I'm also going to go back into Macaron, which is the bottom red shade. And this I'm going to start smoking on the outer portion of my lower lash line. I'm pretty much just mimicking the shades we used on the top, just on the bottom. I'm taking a clean fluffy blending brush just to buff out those edges. And then I also wanted to take that gold shimmer again real quick just to pop that on the inner portion, kind of like my inner corner. So this is the look so far. I'm wanting to do some wings and lashes. So let's go ahead and do that. For liner, I'm using my MAC Brush Stroke Black Liner. This is my Holy Grail eyeliner. And for lashes, I'm using the ColourPop Lashes in the Style Shorty. These are super cute. I just went ahead and finished up this look off camera. I just popped on my lashes, my eyeliner. I finished up my complexion products. And then for lips, I used Twig by MAC. I thought this was just a nice way to tie it together. I do have the other Nomad glosses, but they are very sparkly. And I just thought maybe with a sparkly dramatic eye, maybe just like a nice matte lip would be perfect for this look. But I really like this one. This is such a cute look. I can't wait to wear this out today. And I can't wait to share my next look with you. 
Hopefully the lighting doesn't bother you all too much. It's a little dark. I'm feeling a little early this morning, but we are going in for another look with the Nomad Fête de Provence. And I think today I kind of want to play with the purples. I haven't decided, but I think that's the direction I want to go. So I think we're just going to go for it. I kind of want to do something that's a mix of yellow and purple. I think that might be the vibe. So using my Morphe M573, I'm gonna go into Champs de Lavande, which is like Avenue of Lavender, I think. Speaking of lavender, I have a lavender tattoo. I love lavender. I'm gonna do this on the outer portion of my crease, and I'm just going to very gently circular motion that shadow just right in the outer half of my crease. Because I think I wanna do a yellow in the front and then a purple in the back. I find with these Nomad shadows it's easier to pack them down and then blend versus just immediately going into blend because they blend out so nice that I feel like if you go to blend immediately then they kind of lose some of their pigment especially when you're working with lighter shadows like this one. I feel like this might be a little light as well so I'm gonna go into Marche de Provence which is this deeper brownish purple and I'm taking this on a Morphe E17 and I'm gonna pack that kind of around where I packed the lavender shade, leaving a little bit of the lavender to poke out, but enough to deepen that up so it's not so light. I don't wanna do a monochromatic look because I feel like all the looks I've been doing with this palette have been monochromatic and Nomad had actually DM'd me on Instagram and they were telling me how much they liked the monochromatic looks I did, but <laughs> I want to show them that I can actually do multicolored looks. So hopefully this turns out okay because the way this palette is laid out, it just makes me want to do monochromatic looks. Like you have the pinks, the more like reddish colors, the yellows, the purples, the grays. And I feel like the way it's laid out, it just makes me gravitate towards the monochromatic looks. So hopefully I do them justice today by doing a multicolored look. I'm going back in with that lavender shade just to kind of buff out the edges of that deeper purple so there's no harsh lines and everything blends together smoothly. And next I'm taking another M433 by Morphe and I'm gonna hop into this light yellow Shams de Tournesol. Tournesol? I'm a little rusty on my French. But I'm popping this on the inner half of the lid, kind of up to meet that purple. I'm trying very hard not to overlap them too much because yellow and purple actually cancel each other out and I don't wanna create a neutral muddy mess. So I'm just trying to kiss the purple a little bit with that yellow, but nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go into a Morphe M456, I believe is what this is. And I'm gonna go into Mille de Lavande, which is this mustard yellow. And I'm gonna do the same thing as we did with the purples and kind of bring this just underneath the pastel yellow. And again, just bringing that up to kiss the purple shades. So this is the transition we have so far. I feel like it blends pretty nice. It's a little bit washed out on camera. I feel like it's just my camera settings. I'm not a professional film person. I'm gonna take my Sigma E55 and I'm gonna go into Fleur de Mimosa, which is this shimmery yellow. I actually wore this shade in my last Pandas eyeshadows update and a lot of people really liked it. So that is the yellow shade I used on my lid if you are curious. But I am just popping this on the inner half of my lid on the yellow side just to blend that into the yellows. I did spritz with a tiny bit of my hourglass setting spray. These are pretty glittery, so I just wanted to give it a little bit of extra stick so I wasn't having glitter falling on my face. Not that it has, but I just like to take the precaution. For the purple shimmer, I'm just taking the dense side of an ABH brush, again, spritzing with a tiny bit of my hourglass setting spray. And then for the purple side, I'm gonna go into Savon de Marseille, which is the purple shimmer. Again, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing these right. It's been a hot minute since I've spoken French. And I am just patting this on the lavender side. Again, just kind of very gently tapping it over the yellow where the purple and the yellow meet, just to make sure that there is no muddiness, but it blends nice. And then going back into the brushes I used for the lavender side, I'm just gonna gently blend all of those edges. No extra product, just blending what's there. This is the look so far. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I just went to a Vikings game and I'm not sure that was the vibe I was trying to give off. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with a Lexi 111 and I'm gonna go back into this mustard shade. 
and I'm going to pop this on the lower lash line just to match where the yellow is on the top of my eye. So the yellow comes to about here and I'm going to bring the yellow there. Also ignore the fact that this says pink on it because I use this in a different look and it's stained. And using that same brush, I'm gonna go back into the deeper lavender shade and do the same exact thing, what a concept, on the lower lash line for the lavender side. I'm using a clean brush. I'm just going to kind of buff underneath that, make sure there's no fallout or any harsh lines. I haven't done a wing in a hot second, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do a wing on this look. This might be a little bit more dramatic than what I had in my head. And by little, I mean a lot more dramatic than what I had in my head. I feel like I need lashes to save this because I feel like the wings did not turn out good. It was a good color concept, bad execution on my part. For lashes, I'm going into these from Rem Beauty. I'm not sure what the style is. Oh, Provocateur is the style. I haven't worn these in a hot second. I'm shaking so bad this morning. I just got glue all over my actual lash and not just the lash band. We're having a morning. While those are drying, I'm gonna go into, I think the shade Flute a Corset, which is this rose gold shimmer. It actually has kind of like a purple shift to it. I find it's very, very pretty, and I've been using it as an inner corner highlight with my different looks with this palette. It's just so soft, but if you layer it on top of the pink, it's very vibrant, and it's just a very versatile shape. I'm gonna also, just for funsies, kind of sweep that just under the brow bone. Keeping in Rem Beauty, I'm just gonna pop on some Rem Beauty mascara, and then I'm gonna do the rest of my cheek products, and we'll come back for lips. So with the palette, there was different glosses that came out. I think I might have mentioned this in one of my other looks, but I do want to go into the purple one, which is in the shade Lavande, which is lavender. And I think I'm going to go in with just a new lip liner and then top it off with this gloss. The lip liner I've chosen is Max Boldly Bear, if you are curious. This, my friends, is very purple. Well, my friends, this is the look completed. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I want to like it. I don't know. There's something about the wings and the lashes that are throwing me off. And also my lighting's kind of washing me out. I don't know. I thought it was a fun attempt. In person, it looks pretty dewy and pretty glowy. I'm not sure how it's going to translate on camera. I'm not really going to know until I go to edit. But from the viewfinder, it looks a little washed out. But overall, I really like how the shades blended. I mean, yellow and purples cancel each other out. So I'm very impressed that... I could blend it without it getting muddy and gray and brown. So I'm very pleased with that. The yellow row has definitely been my favorite shades out of the palette so far. All the times I've played with it, I've loved touching the yellow shades, but I'm glad that we were able to play with some of the other purples today and even the purple gloss. The purple gloss is actually pretty wearable on top of a nude like this. I feel like it would look really cool on top of a purple lip, but I have to go to work after this, so I don't wanna do a crazy lip for work. But that is all for this look, my friends. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. It is time to dive into the third and final look for today's video using the Provence palette by Nomad. And today I think I want to jump into these really grungy tones because the first look we did, we did berries, then we did a yellow and purple look, and now I think I want to do something grungy, and then I will have used every shade in this palette a couple of times. So I'm very excited to try that out. I think the first shade I want to dip into is actually that lavender shade though, and I'm taking that on a Morphe M433, and I'm just using this as my base transition shade. I'm popping this one in my crease and just kind of buffing it out, and then we're going to layer those grungier tones on top of it. I feel like the purple is really going to add a hint of depth. My wig is too thick today. Using that same Morphe brush, I'm now going to go into this slate gray shade up in the corner, and I'm going to start popping that in my crease as well, kind of as a secondary transition shade. This one is definitely more on the blue side, but I think the mixture of this with the lavender shade is gonna be super pretty. I think I've said this before in the other looks, but my favorite way to blend the Nomad mattes because they are so pigmented is I actually like to tap the product down and then kind of buff it out in little circles. For my shimmer shade on my lid, I'm actually gonna go into this slate grayish blue shimmer. When I was swatching, out the different shades before planning out my look today. I, I really wanted to try this one. And I am just patting that all over the lid. I also want to take just a hint of this purple shimmer shade and I'm going to pop that on the outer portion of my lid 
just to add a tiny bit of purple because I am going to deepen up the corner and I just want to have a little bit of extra depth right on the edge. To finish up the top of this look, I'm going to go into a Sigma E33 and this dark shade down here. It's kind of like a very deep grungy gray. It has a hint of green to it. It's definitely on the cooler side. And I'm just going to start by popping that in literally just the very outer corner where my lid meets my crease. I'm gently blending that in circular motions, very tiny circles. A little goes a long way, as you can see. I'm going to go back in with that first Morphe brush that we used, and I'm going to hop back into that first slate gray. And I'm just using that to make sure everything is blended super nice. I'm just being very soft. It doesn't have to be crazy. I just want to make sure there is no harsh lines, especially with that dark shade. Guys, I'm low-key obsessed with how this is turning out. I love this. For my lower lash line, I'm going to start with a Lunar Beauty E6 and this lavender shade. And I really want to pop that just on the inner part of my lower lash line. And using that same brush, I'm now hopping into the Slate Gray. And this one I am buffing on my lower lash line up to meet that lavender. So pretty much taking up the rest of my lower lash line space. I also want to take a hint of that slate shimmer and just kind of run that atop everything. And this is the eye look so far. I was thinking I wanted to do wings, but I think I'm just going to skip the wings and do a little bit of light liner and lashes. My eyeliner of choice today is my Fenty Fly Liner, of course. And I'm not going to do a wing, I'm just going to kind of pop a little bit on top of my lashes. For lips, I want to go more on the nude side. I have this plumping lip gloss that I got in PR from iMethod. This is in the shade 603, so I think I'm going to go in with this one and then my MAC lip liner in Debrish. I just popped on a pair of Lily Lashes in the style Gaia. Gaia? I'm not really quite sure, but they have a clear band, and it's driving me crazy because you can actually kind of see see where the band is meeting my eyelid. So I'm going to try and blend it with a little bit of my Bad Gal Bang mascara. But other than that, this is the look complete. All right, my lovelies, this is the final look of this Three Looks One palette. I actually really like this look. I think out of all the looks I've done for this video, this one might just be my favorite. I was a little nervous because I've loved this palette so much, but I feel like every time I've reached for this palette, I've really wanted to gravitate towards those purples and yellows and even like these really light pinks have been so fun to play with so to see kind of a grungier row in a palette like this I was a little bit hesitant and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do but I think we pulled off a really beautiful look so let me know down below which look was your favorite if you've picked up this palette I would love to see everyone else's look so let me know if you've done any videos or posted about it I would love to check everyone else's looks out and with that my friends I will see you guys all in the next one bye guys